Hello Aquarius. It's time for your mid-July to August reading of this current year. Hello. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. You got a home? Yay. Got a lovely couple in here that... Oh, okay, well... I feel like the attachment became more of a weakness than a strength. We got the devil, we got somebody not offering to the devil, we got a lack of victory, we got someone knocking over an opportunity. Oof. That's oof. Let's see. Someone feels like they can't fill the void on things, or something won't allow them to. And they just need a break from shit. Feeling like you're almost working extensively or something. Yeah, there's that, there goes that opportunity. Trying to get out of some shit, but it's like you cannot find a way. It's like you need, okay, you need a break. You're trying to get away from this shit. You're just trying to be like, look, I threw the cup over. I'm out of this fucking bullshit. Stop haunting me. Stop trying to keep me trapped. Leave me alone and let me do whatever the fuck I want. I hate feeling caged. I get that. You know, it's totally like an Aquarius kind of thing. And, you know, pile driver to the heart. Aquarius, your vibration. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Someone who's probably good with kids. Someone who's good at making decisive choices, having passion behind their decisions. You know? You're not a totally bad guy, but you never know. Seems pretty cool. He's looking back on everything to judge accordingly. Probably for these kids that surround him. Let's see. A four of wands. I feel like you just want to break up with someone and you just don't know how. It's like there's no escape or some shit. Let's see. Yeah, it's like in this relationship everything looks good, but it's like someone just impulsively runneth of the mouth. The feet stink. Um... They probably are not the most faithfulest person ever. Or they're an un they're an overbearing mother. Big Capricorn Taurus Virgo in this, and it's like hindsight is twenty twenty, and someone's saying all the signs that maybe they should have paid attention to the red flags here. It's like this Queen of Pentacles who's already like got issues. She's listening to this person bark like they're a dog, and just being like. Mm, I'm just gonna have to beat you against the shed again, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. I am. You know? This, like, has no consideration for the other person. Like, this is a queen, but this is a page having complaints and being pretty, um, nettled about the complaints that they have, and this queen's just looking over it like, Oh, you were such a poor choice. The hermit. Someone feels like they can't move forward, and they're trying to... It, it keeps to themselves. But it's like they gotta fight everything in order to get away. And it feels like they can't. But the Wheel of Fortune is turning. And some idea comes in. Something helps somebody get away, you know. Somebody might be trying to be a control freak with you. I don't think it's you, Aquarius. I think you're actually trying to escape. Like, I think you're trying to, like, jump through some window. Instead of taking the door that's unlocked right next to the window. But, you know, you're, you gotta make sure that, like, they don't... That they know that you're crazy. Like, if you. Like, it's one of those things where, like, you gotta make someone realize you're crazy in order for them not to wanna come back to you. Like, it's so much more fun to pretend to be crazy so somebody doesn't come back than it is to actually be crazy and then cause someone not to come back. It really is lots of fun. Always fun. Um, the Seven of Cups where you're trying to find some fulfillment and you can't, it's because you want some goddamn truth. And you're ready to cut away bullshit if you do not get that truth, man. You are just done. You, you have invested long enough in bullshit. You have an idea about said bullshit, and you just want the truth. You're tired of it. You want to let your guard down because you're tired of feeling paranoid all the time. Probably about this King of Wands person. He might be the one who's watching over you. But that is your vibration, Aquarius. So there's a reason why you're feeling this way. <clears throat> But you be waiting. You you be waiting. In the back of your head, you still be waiting, like, 
Mm. Dude needs to hurry up with his bullshit so I can cut it the fuck down. Um. But it's like with happiness, somebody doesn't want to charge ahead with the arguments. They like run away from it. Well, that's probably is you. Yeah, you probably just want to run away so you can be happy, and it's like you can't. Like, this person has way too many regrets that they aren't even looking at. This is the Queen of Wands right here, his counterpart. And it's like, if you try to walk away, this person's gonna come after you because they just don't feel happy by themselves. Like, you are leaving this cup's away. This person is just like, I don't have a lot of passion, but damn it, you're not going anywhere. I can't do this by myself, you know? It's like they expect you to take care of them. You know? Four of swords, you need a break because all of this shit is driving you crazy. You will do anything, you will do anything underhanded <laughs> to get away, I think, from a third party situation. Doesn't have to be romantic, but it's definitely somewhere where it's like, I need to get the fuck away from you people because you're nuts. You shit to me. I don't like it. I need to be go sneak away to something happy. Four of Cups right here. You're willing to knock over that opportunity. The opportunity was already missed. Um, especially when it comes to the lovers. It's just like, you know, I, I, I'm done with grieving. When it comes to this right here. I want to start a new cycle elsewhere. And because, like, you know, all these negative feelings are just keeping me out of whack, is what it's doing. But it's also like this person is just watching over here. Like, keep me, like, okay. Look, it's like. Could be a water sign, right? But it's also like Aquarius. You will hold a grudge almost as hard as a cancer, okay? Like, full on, like, if you got hurt feelings for someone, you'll have a, you'll keep a reason to keep hating them. But that's, I feel like, I, oh my god, if I could talk. Okay. It feels like, um, that you are using to make a reason to stay stuck in the scenario. Like, you can leave at any time. You can escape easily. But there's something here that's attaching you, emotional-wise from like escaping completely and it's making you very resentful um, it's the third party and how like a, a good you were as a mother or some female figure right and now it's like this person not only takes you for granted but it, but then expects you to um so it, like it pay a debt to them you know, you're over here with the page of swords, like, like why do I, how the fuck do I owe you anything? What are you really up to? And they're just like, I just need some money, man. Like, I, I'm like, I, I'm down on my feet, but I'm a writer, la 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 la, whatever. Seven of Wands. Trying to escape a burning fire. It is time. It is time to leave. It's time to go. Uh... There's a door right there. You take that instead of that offer, because that offer is crooked. Mm -hmm. Especially when it comes to this relationship right here. You know? Definitely is not helpful in any way. Like, whatever this offer could be with this um, two-party relationship possibly dealing with Gemini, it's not good. It's like, you need to release yourself from that shit, because it's not healthy for you. Might be a pile driver to the heart with the Three of Swords. Mainly because of the indecisions that are coming around. But you do need to juggle what options you have. Figure out what is and is not more valuable. It looks like you're aiming it more towards the truth right here. And how things are actually going down for you. And then you get to see what other options you actually have. Like, go more towards the truth. Not to this bullshit where you gotta pretend. You know. Go to the truth. And then stab some motherfuckers. You know, just go do that. That's your reading, Aquarius. Thank you for watching my video. Um, like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course. It's up to you, really. Um, I'm not taking personal readings until after the 10th. But if you are interested, I will let you guys know with an announcement when it's available. I will see you guys later. I love your faces. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Look off.